Sometimes when you ask a child what they did at school, they have a hard time remembering times, dates, and specific details. Now imagine a child victim of repeated sexual abuse trying to testify in court about every detail of one specific act. That was what Kentucky law used to require. These cases are notoriously hard to prove. Sometimes they're just one child's word or one victim's word against an adult's word. Um, and so it was making it even harder on already hard cases to be able to prove what had happened. In fact, last year, the Kentucky Supreme Court overturned a case where a child victim couldn't give a specific date and time of some of the abuses. It was the case that prompted Attorney General Andy Bashir to close that legal loophole. I've got a six-year-old myself, and a six-year-old can't recount uh, some of those details even if they haven't been traumatized. It doesn't mean that they're any less credible. It's just not within their level of brain development to be able to testify to those dates. The General Assembly unanimously passed what's known as a continuous conduct law. It only requires a jury to quote unanimously agree that two or more acts occurred during a specific period of time. And the jury does not need to agree when the specific acts occurred. So we can charge some of the worst of the worst sex offenders and get those little children uh, help uh, without them having to be able to isolate one instance of abuse when it's a pattern that's occurring to them every single day. 